All right, guys, these are your channeled messages for Monday, June 17th, 2024. But the messages are timeless. Wherever you find them, you're meant to find them. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Let's get it. Okay, so the first card that came out is the bigger picture. Zoom out. This is much bigger than you currently see. View things differently and shift perspective. The next card that came out is sit with this. Go within, time to process, reflect, triggered. The last card that came out is just keep swimming, ideally with the currents. Flow with the energies, not against. Keep pressing forward. Flow, don't fight. Learn to surf the waves of the universe and trust where you're being taken. It's very much just this... I feel frustration, like a little frustration, tension. It's this, I said this earlier to someone while I was out and I said the energy right now is very much giving this tower moment, just stripping down things to the bare basics of what they really are showing the cold hard facts, the truths of people, places, things, situations that have been going on around us. And it feels as though it's to reveal this bigger picture that is taking place is like what's, what's happening, what's been happening in your life. Though it may not have been great, it may not have been ideal, they were these very divinely orchestrated, culminated, necessary pieces of your life's puzzle, your destiny's puzzle for your highest good that were very seamlessly, meticulously being orchestrated behind the scenes. And it, it feels like to the outside people, I, I wrote, if you're not following me on Instagram with, for my business, my Ascension Oracle VLOC Instagram, I post these downloads that I get and in picture form so you guys can just look at them i said in there that there was this it, it's like you knew you know what you're doing but to the people on the outside a lot of times it can look like, oh, they've given up or, oh, they're just flighty. Oh, they're just doing, you know, the, they're all over the place, right? Oh, they're dabbling in this and they're dabbling in that or they're, you know what I'm saying? To the outside, this whole process of coming together, these pieces of, the, of your, your grand puzzle coming together, you finding and putting the pieces of the puzzle together on the outside to other people and even to you at times it can look like absolute chaos just a full-fledged shit show for lack of better words honestly and a lot of times that's exactly what it feels like it but 
to the outside and even to the humanistic mind, it can make you feel as though you don't know what you're doing, but you absolutely know what you're doing. You have always known what you were doing. And I think the biggest thing here is to con continue to flow with the energies that you're getting. Continue to trust the currents and the waves wherever they take you, wherever they lead you to do, whatever they lead you to be doing. Trust them and, and, and do them, do the things, whatever it is, trust where you're being led, trust what you're being led to do, to take those next steps, to just, to just effortlessly, fluidly flow with these changes, these energies and these currents because they are divine pieces of this very grand bigger picture puzzle. It's like a nine billion piece puzzle, right? That over this lifetime in this incarnation, you have been gathering the pieces for, and now you have so many pieces that the, the picture is starting to form, but it still has so many gaps. There's still so much that's unseen. There's still so much that's unknown. There's still so much that is you know for lack of better words it's it it feels uncomfortable because you there is no manual i mean there's no instruction booklet to to how to put this puzzle piece together you don't even have like a you don't even have like a picture of what the what the end result is supposed to look like you're you're literally just following God's source universe's divine lead to put each piece where they're meant to be when you're meant to put them there, right? So it's almost like constantly the, the pieces get shuffled around and you're just grabbing piece by piece blindly, but they always lock in where they're supposed to, when they're supposed to. I hope this example is painting the picture for you that I'm being given <laughs> to give for you guys, because this is the closest, I, I'm trying to translate what I'm getting into understandable, relatable words and examples for you guys. And it it really is just like this. You, you know, you, you, <laughs> you don't know what the end picture is going to be and constantly things within your life are being shuffled and shifted around you're going from one thing to another kind of like you got your hands in this project and then you go to the next project and you go to the next project and in inter intermittently the the pieces are being shuffled around but they effortlessly come together when they're supposed to as they're supposed to it's very interesting to see it's this like divine flow i don't know if you've ever seen those art sculptures where it looks like they're gonna like clash with one another but they just do this and effortlessly come in and out and connect and form these grand sculptures it's like this that i'm seeing where everything is moving very fluidly at its own pace and they, they all move together effortlessly. But again, it, to the outside, it's, it's literally this, to the outside, when you're watching these sculptures move, it looks like a lot of times like, oh, they're gonna, you know, they're gonna clash or, or whatever, oh, what, to the outside, optically the optical illusions of it it makes it appear as though you know oh that's not going to work you know they're going to get stuck but that it, it doesn't they are perfectly designed and sculpted to move ever so carefully perfectly in sync right on time it's exactly this your job is to just continue to trust and flow trust 
in flow with these movements, wherever it is or whatever it is that you are being guided to do, pick up, to start, to stop, whatever the case may be, roll with it. You know, no more are we in the, the, the world where everything is perfectly drawn out, aligned and scheduled and planned and all the things. It's, it's just not. It's just not, I mean, in a perfect world as a Virgo, like I, we, I, I, I thrive very much off of having my list and all the things and checking things off, but that's just, that's not how things are going currently anymore. You know, you, you, you have to flow and adapt with the changes that are taking place, go where you're called do the things that feel right and good for your heart and your soul and your highest good go where your your heart and soul is pulling you to go do what your heart and soul is calling you to do and and leave it at that you know it, it's it's weird it's strange but this is where we're at especially here in new earth it's you do the things you build the new things by following your heart and soul's compass everything that you want and need will come to you as you flow and follow wherever it is that the, the waves are taking you you will need to do a lot of introspection, a lot of self-reflection, a lot of, a lot of sitting with self to really uncover what is it that you really like doing? What do you feel most called to be doing, to not be doing? What do you love? Like, don't worry about what everybody else wants or what everyone else thinks. What do you like? What lights you up? What are you passionate about? And go with that. Do the things. There's no rule. There's no thing within the universe, within God's source universe that says you have to just be doing one thing. You are a multidimensional, multifaceted being of God's source universe. You are limitless. There are multiple, multiple things that you as an a divine being has have come here equipped with from multiple lifetimes as such you will have multiple talents and skills and abilities and passions that your soul is going to want to dabble and dip in and you should absolutely follow those things this whole thing of just pick one thing and stick with it is 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 a thing of an old world non-existent and should not be followed 13 13 just on the clock should no longer be followed don't restrict yourself to just doing one thing especially when you know that you are well equipped to be doing so much more than just one thing you're not a one character person you can play all the roles and i want you to remember that god source universe has given you the approval to be all the things to do all the things, whatever your heart and soul is calling you to be doing this incarnation, do it as long as it is for the highest good of all and, and, and it fuels you do it. If it's your passion, do it. If it's in your heart and soul to be spoke on, to, to, to pursue, do it. The card that's at the bottom of the deck here is don't start questioning yourself now. You do know. You don't have to know how or why, but you know. Trust yourself and your guidance. Don't let the 3D illusions cloud your judgment. And I feel as though we have already covered this. You don't have to have all the pieces of the puzzle and you don't need, don't worry about what the outside people, places, or things want or, or say or think about what it is that you're being called to intuitively, divinely be doing for your for your life for your incarnation this lifetime you know what you're doing your your heart and soul knows exactly what it's doing don't worry about the outside noise that is what i have for you guys i hope this was helpful the link 
to purchase the V-Squad Oracle deck is in the description box. And as well as booking a session with me on ascensionoraclev.com, the first 50 will get $10 off of a service of 15 minutes or more. Also, you can call me starting probably next month because I'm getting ready to go on vacation. But starting next month, you can call me on my connect with me number and talk with me, have event sessions, or you just get some channeled advice from me, um, kind of like I'm doing here, but just over the phone. The number will be also in the description box and all the things, but it's on my website, ascensionoraclev.com. You can find all the things there. I'll see you next time. V-Squad.